James Kaufman, World News Report today, August 7, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a very quiet day on planet Earth thus far, minus the swarm of earthquakes that we had late last night in California's Southern Valley. We see no plasma and solar winds have hit the Earth in the last two or three days. This is our estimated planetary KP index, updated and exclusively used by NASA and NOAA. With that said, we've had three M-class solar flares thus far today. Started the day off with an M1.8 solar flare, followed by an M1.1. And the last solar flare that we've just had was Earth-directed, and it was an M4.55 solar flare. Let's take a look at what sunspots generated those solar flares and see if they're going to be geo-effective towards Earth. All right, we're still within the 72 hours where we had an X1.73, and nothing has occurred here on Earth. Uh, currently today, we started out with an M1.8 that peaked at 2.30 UTC time out of Sunspot AR3774, followed by an M1.1 that peaked right around 5 UTC time out of Sunspot AR3781, followed by a M4.55 that peaked at around 13.50 and that, I believe, was generated by Sunspot AR3780. But we will all take a look at GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager and decide for ourselves, as always. We have a 25% chance of an X-class solar flare today. A 75% chance, I mean 100% chance of having an M-class solar flare today. And a 100% chance of having a C-class solar flare today as we're running a very strong C baseline, currently at C41. Now let's take a look at AR3774, AR3781, and AR3780. All right, taking a look at HMI intensogram, we see we have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Earth-facing sunspots, and they look fairly complex. We have AR3774 expelling an M-class solar flare. That was followed by 3781 doing the same. And I believe the M4.55 solar flare was generated by AR3780. But I'll let you be the judge of that. Now, none of this has been modeled yet. NOAA has not assigned a sunspot to the last flare. But it's pretty evident it came from AR3780, just as we did indicate. That is a very complex sunspot group now. It's Beta, Delta, Gamma, the most complex sunspot group we know. And it's basically Earth-facing and will become more so over the next three or four days. So all eyes to sunspot AR3780. We can see that there was also a filament involved here, and my guess would be that it did generate a coronal mass ejection, although that information is not yet available. Over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center, you can see that we're running a healthy sea flare, and everyone's getting a great dose of radiation. I guess we have that M4.55 flare pop off right over the Atlantic, actually moving into the Caribbean, the northern part of South America, and covering some of Western Europe, and even Africa. A very large flare, but centered directly in the Atlantic Ocean. There is some decent radio autonation, but it shouldn't have uh, been that harmful for radio operators as it was a short term flare as you can see back to that c baseline that everyone's getting a healthy dose of 
i.e. x-ray radiation. Hmm. Over to STO HMI magnetogram, taking a look at our sun, we have a reverse polarity sunspot coming around the limb. Uh, negative over positive in the northern hemisphere. This is one after another here. This is 3780. It has been heck, to say the very least. And we have a bunch of sunspots here that are very complex and capable of producing X-class solar flare today. So we have a 25% chance, which is higher than usual for sure. This was taken at 16.30 UTC time, which really means it was just taken at 11.30 Central Time here in the U.S. So this is very recent up-to-date data on STOHMI magnetogram. Jumping over to Soho, 284 angstroms, we see that we have a coral hole trying to form in the Northern Hemisphere here. It doesn't look very prominent, but we will keep an eye on that. The sunspots that were departing have departed and should no longer be a threat, although we do have several complex sunspots Earth-facing. This was taken at 6.06 .06 this morning, so it's a little bit dated, but not much. 6.06 .06 Central Time this morning. Uh, this is 37.80 that's moved closer to this position here. And we have multiple sunspots coming around the far limb that are going to have to be named probably today. All right, headed over to the NASA. Goodard is with Spiral. We see that X flare pop off and head directly towards Mars. Looks like it's going to hit Osiris Apex and then Mars in or around the 10th. That, again, is going to be the X flare that popped off about 48, uh, well, 72 hours ago. And that should not have a geomagnetic uh, magnetic effect on Earth, although it may because our connection to the sun, our spiral Parker spiral connection or geomagnetic connection, this rope that's black and white here, actually originates from that area of the sun. And the energy could flow down the rope and actually, well, send some of that energy towards Earth, although it was not an Earth-facing event. Of course, we can see that nothing from today or yesterday has been modeled, only the X-flare. And, well, I don't think it's going to be a big deal for Earth. With that said, God bless you and yours. Please share and subscribe. Always remember... Anything's possible. Bizarro world.